right, before I do another TI-99-4A video, maybe I should do a little bit of a public service announcement type thing. I hear people say that the joysticks don't work on these things because there's a joystick port right there on the side, on the back. There's also another thing, but that's a serial port. The one on the side is the joystick port, but it's a splitter. This is for two joysticks. You can plug one in, but it's not going to work. You need this little splitter, and then you use a standard Commodore or Atari joystick, in this case, a slick stick. So if you don't have this little splitter, then you're not going to get a joystick to work in a TI-99 4A. And over here, we have the speech synthesizer, which is what gave that speech in the last game I did. Okay, time for something. Oh yeah, everything has a clone. And in the 80s, it was all about clones. Every computer system, every video game system had clones of arcade games. And you know Space Invaders was like one of the biggest. So, this is TI Invaders. The big thing here was the number of invaders. Lots of them. More than anything else. So that's what made this version cool. See? 